Good afternoon, this is Miss Betsy Mastin here today. This afternoon, we have a special visitor with us, and this is Brother Mark McDonald. We're so glad you're here today. And he and his lovely wife, Betty, are in the studio along with my handsome hubby. So we are glad wow. you're here with us today. And this couple has been representing the national right to life for 20 plus years. So I am so excited to hear what this gentleman has to say to us. He's going to talk a little bit about some current events and then he's also going to discuss uh, some other issues such as abortion. So I'll let you go right to it, Brother Mark. Okay, good. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I know I, I appreciate, you know, in my father's house, your program, and, and I appreciate Brother Rich Dubalak preaching, uh, you know, from the Hamilton Station. Uh, it, it's just so good to, to be back with you again and uh, let the people know I call my show uh, the, um, you know, sometimes I say I'm the voice in the wilderness, you know, Oh, but, that's a good name. But, but I've actually set up a kind of a program uh, called The Last American Patriots, okay? And we, we're, we so strong need that voice and that watchman on the wall, Absolutely. if you will, that, that, I, that I do on my weekly show. But, but like I say, I appreciate your show and, and all the work you and Jimmy Lucas and others have done. So uh, today I wanted to cover some, some current uh, assaults and problems we're having. Uh, because if you listen to the news media today, you know, it, it's so warped and so bad and so twisted um, to their socialist agenda in America that Americans can't get the proper news, okay? So I want to do it for them as well as for our, our church people and, and all Americans that are now just some sitting at home. Uh, Betsy, you know, some are... Uh, anxious, anxieties filling the air, you know, the worry, uh, the COVID-19, uh, the, the anarchy, the complete destruction basically of local society and uh, even our nation, uh, national society. Well, and I believe in the midst of all that also, there is a frustration of you don't know who to believe because some news stations report things one way and some report things another way. So. It's very hard right now in America to, to know, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. And you know, I'm so glad you brought that up. And I, I'll list a couple of those that are really the ones that you should watch and trust, okay? Great. And uh, those others you mentioned, they also do have a theme in there. And when one, when one station says something against our president, Betsy, all, all four or five major networks do the same. So you can see that they're taking the talking points from the same socialist agenda. Uh, so as she mentioned, so when are we going to trust these people again, okay? When are we going to trust these people who burned down buildings, who broke storefronts out and went in and stole everything they could get their hands on, okay? I mean, people in America, they see that and they're, they're angered by it, they're worried about it, and they're frustrated and they really don't know what to do. And hopefully today, along with the, with the negative things, that they're doing, we can offer some, some sanity and some solutions to it. Um, I think we'll trust them again when we see that, that they can be trusted right. for being an American citizen and an American patriot. Um, we, we know that basically uh, a lot of this is about evil special interest, okay? It's all about stealing the 2020 election. Uh, it's about stealing any election because you got to remember, the socialists don't want elections. They want dominance, they want control, but they really don't want elections. And if they gain control in 2020, we may see the end of honest, uh, uh, secret ballot, uh, uh, constitutional, okay, protected elections in America. So it's really important, folks, that you pay attention, that you get the information, get it right, get it from CBN, okay? Get it from Newsmax, get it from Fox News. Fox News is kind of neutral sometimes, but pretty much uh, on key of exposing the, the socialist Democrats and their left agenda. Uh, I, I blame a lot of people. I even, I even go down to, to blaming parents, you know, for not teaching their children better. And then we send them away to the universities 
the colleges, and what do they do? They brainwash them. They brainwash them. Yes, ma'am. They turn them against their own parents. They turn them against everything they've been taught about the gospel. Against the Bible that you're holding there? Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, and they actually turn them against their own nation. Yes. Because, you know, socialist indoctrination and Marxism uh, is to divide and conquer and actually tear down any moral principles and beliefs, tear down, therefore tearing down our nation and constitution because it's based on God's moral principles. Well, in there, I could interject from my background in education that I know with our former president, there was going to be a goal of educating children starting at age two. And then it, the, the quote was from the womb to the tomb. Um, children would be educated as, as young as two years old, if not sooner. And what it would be would be turning them against their parents and everything that their parents taught them against any kind of patriotism they had been taught. Oh, sure. And you know, in the subject we're gonna get into, they, they indoctrinate them of, into abortion and into homosexuality which is yes. really sad. They're now accepting what they call this gender dysphoria, and a young child can walk up to the mother and say, mother, I know I was born a boy, but I want to be a girl. Right. And so the parents say, okay, whatever you feel. John. Right, and that is the most it, foolish thing, oh. and so destructive. And also, the whole definition of family was changed um, while our former president was in the White House, and the definition of the word family was changed to a group of people living together who care about each other. <laughs> there was no biblical um, mention and no commitment mention, and that's when books started infiltrating even school libraries, starting with kindergarten, of having two mamas and having two papas raising the children. Sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. Heather has two mommies, you know, and Johnny has two, two daddies, and oh, I mean, I know, and, and it gets to be sick, and they don't realize how sick it's gotten, until now, it's beginning to bite them back, and I'll, if I can get around to the Boy Scouts, uh, I'll mention that to you. So, uh, I really blame a lot of this, uh, sometimes on the ignorant white people, um, that, that the, right now, the current nation uh, tries to put them down. Uh, this is the, the Black Lives <coughs> Matter people, they call it a movement. It's actually, unfortunately, it's a Marxist dictated, okay, conspiracy is really what it is. The media, the far left, absolute untrustable media. Those I mentioned to you before, you can trust CBN, you can trust uh, Fox and most things, trust Newsmax. Uh, there are several others out there, uh, American Liberty Report and some others. Right. I particularly yeah. like Sean Hannity. It seems like that is a man with a heart. Yes, and he and Laura Ingram. Any, and Laura any, Ingram. Yes, anybody that is an American patriot that believes in this country and moral justice and moral good, moral right, exactly. Uh, the, the socialist media and Antifa, these, these left-wing Democrats, the Hollywood uh, elites, the Hollywood, uh, and I call them illiterates instead of elite because in most cases they are. Uh, to godly principles they oh, are. Uh, mm -hmm. Amen, amen. So uh, we'll, we'll try to move on with uh, what has been happening just recently to us. There's this city council woman called Kowisi uh, Wasami, and I can't pronounce her name. The, both of those names are hard to pronounce. Uh, I think that is her, I think that's her African given name. Uh, she has actually said, she's actually stood up and said that we must give all benefits, jobs, education, medical, welfare, and everything else, we must give those to black and brown people. Uh, why? Uh, well, because uh, white people have had uh, an advantage for years, okay? And so, we, and no whites. We can't allow any whites in that. But, and if that's not pure racism, folks, I don't know what is. Um, and they'll never, they'll never back up and apologize for this, Betsy. That's the thing. Oh, no. The, uh, black Lives Matter will never apologize for all the damage they've done, and yet painting on our streets, uh, even in Washington, is, is terrible. It is terrible. Uh, this uh, Ilian Omar, who's actually in the United States illegally, but has been elected to our House of Representatives, she says, tear down all of America, okay? Tear it down and rebuild it back in the socialist country. Okay, and can you imagine? She's not even really a citizen, nor American, and she's certainly not black. She's a Muslim, and she like uh, this 
uh, A.O. Cortez, if you remember. Yes. Uh, yeah, A.O. Cortez is another. They, they were elected mostly by illegal votes. And um, she, ALC, just today I saw her next move, what she's suggesting is after we get rid of the police, she wants to get rid of all government politicians. Can you imagine? Oh, and probably law enforcement on top of that. Yeah, and where would that leave us? And total chaos, where, where we've been the last few months. Mm. Um, uh, another real problem uh, along with this uh, Omar and A.O. Cortez and others, and there are many others, there are many other uh, racist uh, anti-Americans out there. Uh, uh, Nazi Pelosi is one of them. I never call her Nazi. I call her Nazi, uh, halfway between nasty and Nazi, okay? <laughs> so I call her Nazi Pelosi. Uh, uh, she says people are going to do what they're going to do. So you and I must accept if someone comes in and tears up your property or wants to shoot at you, uh, people are going to do what people are going to do. I mean, this is the nut that is a speaker of our House of Representatives in Washington, folks, and it's really sad. And she says, uh, also, if someone wants to tear the statues down, she got asked about it, she says, well, if the people want to take them down, take them down. Uh, but, but which people? We don't want them taken down. No, we when don't. I go across America, I want to be able to visit my country's heritage, don't you? I do, and I'm thinking I'm really actually not even almost halfway, can't believe what I'm seeing on the news that a governor would actually say, I don't see anything wrong with what the people are doing. Uh, oh, and they, know that. they help them. Many mayors, the Dallas mayor, the Atlanta mayor, they just step back and say, okay, we're, we're gonna move in with some heavy equipment and take that monument down. So whether it's a monument, plaque, statue, uh, now they want national parks, even right. renamed, yeah. shut up, What is closed the one up. with the big four presidents faces carved? And Mount Rushmore, Mount yes ma'am, there too. And they also ran down the president for being there. They refused to carry his show. You see where our, you see where again these news channels are leading us? It, it said, I hate to go so fast, Betsy, but in trying to get a lot of this in. Uh, she also wants women to have full access to abortion, okay, which they call reproductive rights, okay. Full access to reproductive freedom, reproductive rights. Those are misstatements, okay, meaning abortion. Right. And they control abortion. You know, they're almost a small country within themselves. But can you tell technically, when does that baby actually have a baby, have its brain and body formed in the womb? Because technically it's murder from what point? Exactly, and, and they don't know. Well, we, we originally said, along with the, the entire Catholic community, if you will, okay, we said that begins at conception. And even, even if you say it doesn't begin for a few days yet, but it really does. It, it becomes really an does. embryo mm -hmm. quite quickly, and then it moves on into development. In 11 weeks, it's a small baby. Uh, uh, actually uh, starts forming all the human organs and, and skeletal uh, and properties. Isn't that something? It's amazing. It is. It's amazing. Yeah. Um, she, this uh, Pelosi even wanted, uh, along with her house, uh, wanted to uh, make D.C. a state. That, therefore, it gives them another two radical senators, uh, as well as probably some representatives. They have no land. They have no, they have, absolutely have no property. All of D.C. is meant to be District of Columbia. That's why our forefathers kept it separate. So it would not be left in one political viewpoint or right. another. Right. And, but no, they won't tear that down because they want another bad vote to actually to keep us from voting as a place. Uh, as, as you well know, uh, that if we vote for any of these Democrats, you know, locally, people forget. This means your local people too, because they support the national party, okay? Which their platform puts them so far in the radical left field, that's, and you know, you know that as well as I, that they, they don't even seem human anymore, humanized. They really don't. And, uh, and, and look what they've done so far in our country, if you'll just look around. Look what they've done with all of these uh, so-called uh, Democrat progressives, they like to call them. That just means they're, that just means they're socialists. You know, really, that's another word. And uh, they interfere in college education, our morals, our law enforcement, our government. They're everywhere. And if people vote for that, 
this November, you can see what it's going to lead to. I mean, if you thought you saw chaos now, think about what will happen next year. And so folks were asking you out there to really get the truth, know it, and be informed. Um, this um, uh, local, uh, local to Washington, D.C., you know, they, they want to move in and kind of control that area. They, they control a great deal of it now because so many of the ethnic groups have been given government jobs to appease them and to squell any claims of racism, okay? They hire many. Well, they in turn hire many more. So, so they, they'd like to control that local D.C. area. Uh, they want to commit voter fraud. Mm -hmm. Okay, I hope you've heard that enough times this year. Too we got to, yes. Oh, I'm That's sorry. It's horrible. Oh, no, it's horrible. Yes, ma'am. Uh, are you aware of uh, Judicial Watch? A great organization, great watchdog group in Washington. They go after these people that are breaking the laws, committing crimes. But especially, they're working on a, a very good project called the Election Integrity Project. And that Wonderful. EIP, that EIP that they have uh, set up, they've gone into California, Ohio, uh, Michigan, Florida. They asked them to clean up their voter rolls. Quit letting dead people remain on the rolls. Amen. Okay? If That's you right. Yes, ma'am. Because when they do, someone's going to go in and vote for that dead person. But these other people, they want mail-in votes. They want early voting, late voting. They want motor voter registration. They want anything to create havoc and produce more votes, okay, for the extreme left communist candidates, if you will. And it's going to ruin our electoral process. Um, Right, and I've heard our president speak out against that many times because he knew that would be the way their minds would be thinking. Yes, and, and it is. And it is. Yes, matter of fact, he put out a seven-point uh, introductory to what they're actually trying to do, you know, with voter fraud and how they go about it, how they vote multiple times, uh, how they can vote for someone else. Uh, no ID. Can you imagine no identification required? Praise God, Alabama and Mississippi have, uh, you know, ID required, and, and we need it. So, as you mentioned, President Trump works day and night, I think. I don't, I don't think know. that man sleeps at all. I, yes, ma'am. I don't know when he sleeps. I know he works 16, 18 hours a day. Yes. And, but you know what? He's at a threshold, and America is at a threshold. And if we don't stop this anarchy, okay, it may go beyond. It may go beyond the threshold. Um, I wanted to share with you just a few of the... Uh, of the Supreme Court rulings, okay, if, uh, if we have time. Uh, here's some of them that they have come up with over the years, okay. In 1963, they took prayer out of public schools. Mm -hmm. How did that work out for us? Would you Horrible. Know that? I've seen actual statistics and data. The day they took prayer out of the school, teenage pregnancy increased. Skyrocket. Drug yes. use increased. SAT scores decreased. decreased. There is graphs showing evidence. Yes, ma'am. I've seen those same things. I'm so glad that you mentioned that. You bet. Uh, again, look at this. 1973, Roe versus Wade, so-called. And then followed just a year later, Doe versus Bolton, is, is a, a ruling by the Supreme Court. And I call it, it's not law, it's a ruling because they like to say that it's constitutional law. It isn't. Women do not have a constitutional right to kill their preborn baby. They don't. They really don't, but they, but they like to say that because it's political, see. Um, uh, then again, in 2000, is, uh, I was telling you earlier, uh, the Boy Scout says, you will take them into your scout your troops as leaders. Can you imagine? Members and leaders. Okay, what's happening today? They're, suing, they're now suing the Boy Scouts. There's so that was TV, in the early tw a 2000. TV commercial. Y yes, ma'am. You said, so the lawyers? Oh, you bet. Well, they don't care. Uh, so, uh, look at this, and you know what's happening to Girl Scouts too. I mean, they have trouble with, with the homosexual scout leaders as well. But then they, then they want to come back and sue them, then when they molest the, the children. Uh, and in uh, uh, 2015, uh, the homosexual uh, marriage, what they call, you know, the, the, the marriage amendment, uh, and not an amendment, but, but it was actually a bill passed. I call it unions because I don't believe they're marrying 
and I never will. Uh, in 2020, they redefined, that's in bringing it up to lately, they redefined sex, okay, as, as James Dobson, Dr. James Dobson, focus on the family, he said they redefined it in the Title VII of the 1964 Civil Rights Act, okay, when it says you can't discriminate because of, you know, uh, age and, and religion and sex, okay. They meant your biological, your actual sex, not want to be, not proposing to be, not trans, transgender, not transsexual, okay, if you will. Uh, but they redefined it. Uh, and I, also in 2020, uh, they, they uh, disapproved the bill in Louisiana that said you need hospital admittance to save the women's lives. When they have an emergency and the abortion and they fail and she's bleeding, she's in pain, no. Would you believe they turned that down? It's sad. Uh, and I'll back up a year, so, sorry. They started suing in 2019, that's last year. They started suing the Boy Scouts. Would you believe? They actually started. Um, Thank goodness we, we've had a few uh, good decisions from them. Uh, getting rid of the Obamacare mandate that you must provide contraception uh, to all these uh, women and uh, your business and the churches, everybody, especially the little sisters, you know, uh, those, those nuns that are a, a group that do much benevolent work. Mm -hmm. They says they must provide it. No, no, no. And, they're, and so we also got a, a good uh, religious school uh, qualifying uh, bill now, and at least the Supreme Court upheld that. So we are oh, thankful for those two things. Yes, thank you, Lord. Oh, yes, ma'am. But uh, just just an idea they've done over the years. Uh, I'll, I'll try to quickly cover it if we have time. Uh, we both know that Planned Parenthood, okay, is right. behind could, us. Could you please expound on the irony of the name Planned Parenthood. Oh, oh yes, uh, because it has nothing to do with plan uh, Parenthood. No. I call it Planned Parenthood uh, in many of my articles that I write. Uh, you know, they were, uh, they were actually brought into prominence, you know, just before the 73 court ruling. You know, as a matter of fact, they helped set it up. That was a setup from, from day one. Uh, they're the nation's largest pr provider of abortions. They do some uh, 350,000 themselves. They refer another five, five to 10,000, just depending on what state, what area. But it's sad. It winds up being about, you know, about 350, 360 million that they're responsible for. Uh, 360,000, I'm sorry, because the total uh, used to be about 1.5 million. And do you know a certain percentage in there are probably some of those. Um, ministers mentioned in Ephesians 4.11 that God put some apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers in the body. And a percentage of those are being killed right there. Can you imagine? Yeah. And that's, and, and we're still losing, uh, as the number I was going to get to, it's about 885,000. Okay. It used to be well over a million. So we're very, very pleased with that. People say, don't be pleased because we still have that many. But see, we, we praise God for the 700,000 that's being saved per year. And that's great. That they get, is great. Yeah, they get federal money, so much federal money. That's why I call them, they're, they're, a, they're a nation of their own. They have their own lawyers, many of them. Uh, they have their own uh, politicians, starting with California to Washington, D.C. I mean, they, they control the narrative the court system, they have many placed in the courts, so that when these rulings come up, when we pass a bill, for instance, in Alabama, guess what? The 11th Circuit turns it down because that, that judge has been placed in that area for this time. And this Meyer Thompson in, in, uh, in the Circuit 11, 11th Circuit is just so radical. We passed our abortion, anti-abortion bill just, you know, just a year or so ago. Mm -hmm. And he was, oh no, you should have never done that because they turn them all down. So they can't, they can't uh, deride us for passing that no. because they, they turn the others down anyway. So hopefully someday we'll bring that up to a good Supreme Court if, if we can get uh, President Trump reelected and get some more appointed. We can't even depend on those that were supposed to be constitutional conservative uh, justices. It's really sad. 
uh, they, they get uh, about 530 million of your tax money. Wow. Planned Parenthood does. They get another uh, oh, about 200, 250 million from their abortuaries, they call abortion clinic, okay, and their referrals. And then they get about another uh, 230 to 240, sometimes they say 250 million from just donations. Can you imagine? What people call charitable trust, foundation trust, and charitable trust. And you add all that together, it's over a million point two uh, billion dollars a year. Can you imagine America? So look what power they uh, wield with that. Uh, they deny that Margaret Sanger was a eugenicist, their founder. She, she believed that she could control, you know, as, even as Hitler and others, you could control society if you control the birth of those you want to be born. And they take out minorities, okay, defective, uh, low educated, <laughs> which might get some of us in this world. But I, I didn't mean to make light of that, but you know, I would to bring that in. They lie about the sex education they give in high schools, colleges. They I actually heard a woman who used to work for that going around to the schools. She gave a talk on a Christian radio station and she said she actually had to quit doing that job because of her Christian conscience. She knew that there was an increase by 50% of um, teenager pregnancy after she would leave a school teaching them the way the program was set up. Yes, yes. And uh, you know, there's, there's a lady made a movie uh, about that, w was a very good, came out here just a while back, you know, and, uh, and it was about, uh, you know, uh, her experience working with Planned Parenthood, and then she left them, okay, and how they went after her, but mm -hmm. how she's now helping many people across right, America right. leave the abortion uh, business, because they see how hideous it really is. Um, they tell the patients, and especially the teenagers, there's no long-term emotional effect. Just go down and get rid of the baby, okay? Would you believe they have nine times the suicide rate, almost nine times, that's amazing. Uh, they have very high increased rates of cervical cancer, okay? Endometriosis, if you will, premature birth rates, uh, infertility. They have so many problems, especially the mental problem, okay? goes right along with it. Uh, they refuse to report these teenage uh, ab abortions because y you know who got them pregnant? Is normally an older man. So he's guilty of what? Statutory, statutory right, sure. And, uh, and, and sometimes it's as high as 70, 70, 75% that they never report right. beca because of that. They use chemical abortions, the RU486. Horrible pill, horrible pill. We now have a reversal, praise God, that we can reverse some of that. 